Hello and welcome back! Today we've got a pretty basic eyebrow tutorial. It's uh, pretty similar to my first one, except we're using blend shapes and we're adding a little bit more expression by utilizing our eyes and whatever else you guys have. This one's gonna go by pretty quickly. If you're new to Live 2D, this might not be the tutorial for you, but if you've watched my advanced eye rigging tutorial and have gone through my beginner rigging tutorials, this should be somewhat easy to follow along to. So good luck. All right, so here we are in Live 2D. First things first, we're gonna prep our parameters for our brows. Now, if you watched my other video where I was cleaning up my parameters and everything, it's a little different, but today we're we're gonna do the brow wise and the brow forms and if you watch the last video on the eye rigging we are going to rename these left and right into arrows just to make it easier for ourselves so right clicking on the parameter we're gonna edit it i'm gonna change brow l to brow arrow right y to brow right and then turn this into a blend shape we're gonna use blend shapes today so i'm just going to edit all of these into their appropriate titles and blend shape thingies all right now that we have the setup, I'm gonna do a brief explanation on everything. Brows are pretty straightforward and they're like the easiest thing to rig most of the time. So a brow Y, it's just when the brow is going up and down. And then brow form is gonna be when it curves up and down for expressions and everything. Today's brow tutorial is gonna be really similar to my first one, except we're using blend shapes and we're just being a little more expressive with them. So now that we have our four parameters here all set up and ready, all right, we are going to manually mesh our brow. So let's first delete our four points here. We're going to use the stroke mesh mapping pen right here. And I'm just going to draw a line straight through the middle of the brow. Your manual mesh is going to look different depending on your brow. Mine are really simple, so mine's going to be pretty simple. But I like to do my little three on the drop down menu here and tweak this so that my green dots are nicely cutting through the middle of my brow and then tweaking my mesh width and my density make sure everything looks nice and then i'm going to just tweak these a little bit and move these points to sort of hug my brow a bit more and I'm done with my brow. So I'm going to check out of here and we can start rigging. So we're going to start with our brow Y. And I'm actually going to put a warp on top of this brow. So I can put all my keyforms on this warp instead. So adding three keyforms to my brow Y. We're going to go to positive one. And this is going to be when our brow is going up. So I'm just going to hold down shift and bring it up. And then for negative one, obviously it's going to go down. So I'm going to tweak it down a little bit. And then using temporary path deformers, I'm I'm just gonna curve it a tiny bit. Brow Y is just for like when your brow goes up and down, so I wouldn't go too crazy on the curve. The curves we will be saving for brow form, but just to make it a little bit more natural looking, I'm gonna tweak both the top and the bottom. Here is what my up brow looks like and my down brow looks like. And then you are basically done with your brow Y. But I'm going to make it a little bit more expressive and we're going to make it affect our eye. So I'm going to go over to all my eye warps over here. And I have a warp for like the outer part of my eye for my eyelids and lashes here, which is separate from my whites and my iris of my eye and everything. So I'm going to add three key forms to this one. And I'm just going to follow my brow since my brow is going up on one i'm gonna bring the top of my eyelids up a little bit and then i'm just gonna tweak that to make it a lot smoother looking and then i'm gonna do the same thing for the down motion i'm just gonna squish my eye down a little bit smooth that out now, because I was using my brush tool, it kind of affects my bottom lid a bit and I don't really want it to. So I'm actually going to just click and drag to select the bottom half of my eye here, all these little points. And I'm going to hit Control Shift C and that's going to copy the form right here. And by form, I mean like how all of these little dots are positioned with these rectangles. Because if we go to one, you'll see that these move up a bit. But if we do Control Shift V to paste that form, it's going to constrict those points down to the their original form. If we go back to zero and go to one, we'll see that our bottom lid does not move as much anymore. Of course, it moves a little bit because this is all attached, but it's a little cleaner now. And I'm just going to control V it to my bottom one too, just in case. And this is our brow Y up and down. Now I'm just going to tweak it and go through each of my little layers here to make sure everything looks nice and not super weird.
All right, and here is my brow Wyatt one and my brow Wyatt native one. Pretty straightforward, just up and down, but adds a little bit more oomph to your eyes for expression. If you have more stuff to your eye, this type of brow rigging will look really nice especially have like an eyebrow shadow here or like extra eyelid thingies that can move around or design that makes this area pretty fancy but i'm pretty simple so this is what i got next we're gonna do brow form so let's go back to our brow here add three key forms to our brow form at positive one we are gonna make our brow like just curved up so i'm actually gonna add more bezier points here and Using my temporary path deformer, I'm gonna curve this up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom and curve it downwards. And then you can test that with brow Y to see how they look at each point. On negative one for brow Y and form, it goes down a little bit too much. So I'm gonna make brow Y at default and at negative one for brow form, I'm gonna take this up a little bit. If you move it while these are both at negative one, it will move brow Y as well up at negative one. So just keep that in mind whenever you're playing around with two different blend shapes. I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. And once I'm happy with the look of my brow form, I am going to do the same thing I did with brow Y and go into my eyes and follow the curve of my brows there to my eyes. All right, here's my finished brow form. Here it is at one. And here it is at negative one. So you can play around with how it's going to look with brow Y. And you'll see how it adds just more more expression, more oomph to your eyes and just your overall look just by adding a little bit of touch-ups to your eyes with your brow rig. Of course, I would also double check it with your eyes just to make sure it looks good with everything. For example, when my eyes are wide open and I have my brows at negative one for each, we get a little bit of an awkward overlap here. Not that there's oftentimes our eyes are gonna be wide open with our brows down, question mark. But definitely this is one of the things I would test out in like VTube Studio to see how well the brows work with your face. But, but with the brow done, we can just copy paste it over. So I'm gonna select my brow warp here, right click on it and hit select child objects, to select everything there. Then we're just gonna copy with Control C and then Control V to paste it. And we're gonna right click on it, reflect that horizontally, press OK. You can change your parameters here if you right click on it and then change your brow Y into the opposite brow Y parameter. I accidentally rigged these on the wrong ones. So actually these ones are right and I need to change these ones. And don't forget to delete your old brow here that is not rigged. If you didn't know, if you copy an art mesh and paste it, it'll count as one texture on your texture atlas and it saves space and makes your file smaller yada 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 so if you have anything symmetrical on your model i would highly recommend just copying and pasting it over so i'm gonna change this browse parameters really quick as you can see easy fix now as you can see easy fix i do need to change the parameters on my eye since they are linked opposite now so i'm just gonna right click on my left eye warp select all the child objects and change these over easy peasy and now they are linked to the right brow, but obviously we don't have anything rigged for that on the other eye. So we are going to copy paste the eye, reflect it over and fix everything. If you don't know how to do that, you can check my advanced eye rigging tutorial where I go over how to copy paste and reflect your eyes and everything. So I'm going to do that really quick. All right. And now my brows and eyes are working to the right thing. I think this expression is super cute. But yeah, we're basically done with the brow tutorial. You know, brows are, you know, pretty straightforward and simple. There's not much besides, uh, you know, raising your eyebrows up and down for it to be tracked. So if you've got a cool model with cool eyebrows, this will be a lot more impressive. But hopefully, you know, using blend shapes and having your brows affect your eyes helps you guys make your model more expressive. Obviously, you can make your brows affect other things depending on your model. One of my favorite things to do for like animal models 
models is for their ears to go up and down depending on their brows. If you have a model that has a lot of shading or like a really detailed face, making the brows really expressive that way makes it really fun. But yeah, like I said, export the model, test out their brows and VTube Studio and whatnot to see if you like it and tweak accordingly. And that's literally about it for the brows. As always, if you would like my parameter preset and my physics preset, you can get them on my coffee. It will be updated per video. So you can download them for free if you need them. I will say I updated it a lot because I actually added a ton of physics and eye parameters or eye physics and everything. I made my eyes a little bit fancier. I didn't show it in the eye rigging tutorial, but my eyes, I fixed them, okay? They look a little better now. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys liked the little tutorial. I pumped it out really fast because, you know, brows are easy. So yeah, enjoy and good luck. And I'll see you very soon for the next tutorial. We are going to do advanced lip sync mouth stuff. So goodbye. See you soon.